So I think we might see Mexico fall here because the Zapotec have a huge military force coming out from the west and we have also Napoleon's army in the east kind of just watching, like watching right by the borders, maybe seeing that if a few cities fall, he might want to jump in and go after that capital. So let's make sure that we keep an eye on this region because it's going to be really, really exciting. Another research agreement's been going on. Lots of research agreements. Uh, I don't think the relationship of the world ha they haven't re it hasn't really broken down just yet. Oh, so maybe maybe that's not going to be the case because I was worried about these French units stacking right near the border of Mexico City, but maybe I think they're going to be too focused on taking over the remaining Aztec cities. Although no one really can reach San Jose. Um, Actually, yeah, well, I, it depends. But I think the Aztecs are still going to remain around. I think eventually the Zaptec are going to go after the Aztecs, or maybe the Mayan. I, I don't know. But um, this city is probably going to get taken over, This, which is going to give, what is that, Napoleon going to get nine cities then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that'd be nine cities. Uh, they are the most expansive. Oh, wow. Wait a second. That was, is that, yeah, that was Mexico declaring war on Montezuma. You kind of have your hand, hands full, though, Mexico. You probably shouldn't have done that. And the Aztecs still have units. They still have a trebuchet and a pikeman who actually is going to help out the Zapotecs quite a bit in the West if they both orchestrate the same, you know, the same siege of the same city. But still, the Denis have reached, have completed Big Ben. An uh, the, another ideology has been chosen. This is the fourth ideology. Denny have chosen freedom. Clearly, the Denny are going for a cultural victory. Very smart of them. Um... Because it doesn't seem like anybody else is is willing to. The thing is, are they really going to be able to defend these cities? It seems like it's they don't have the military, I don't think, to be able to really sustain, especially with the Sioux, like right here in the east. I just, I don't think I could see it happening. But I don't know. Oh, I think we might be finally gearing up for that Sioux uh, Cree war that I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. And I think it's because they, they're really going to declare those, those wars for the east two cities. Obviously, they won't take the main uh, Cree cities within this region, but I think in Central America, right here in like Oklahoma, or right around Oklahoma region, I think that, yeah, um, I, I think that these are much more acquirable, I guess, by Sitting Bull. So anyways, we have the Anishinaabe choosing order. So, so far, no one has chosen autocracy. We've got three order nations, France, Iroquois, and the Anishinaabe. And then we have Denny choosing freedom. And like I said, the, the, the Sioux choosing autocracy. And that gears kind of towards their strategy right now because they are going for like a military-based gameplay. I mean, they're going, for that, they're going for that strategy. So that's smart of them. I think they could see some huge problems, though. If they don't get it, I don't know how much their tourism is, but if, if they don't find a way to combat against, I don't know, you know, just influence. Jeez, I, I, mean, I hate that. As a, Oh, bam, they did take something. Good for Denny. Good for ten, Denny. I'm actually shocked by this. I really thought the Chinook uh, were going to dominate this game because I think if I thought that the Shoshone would be a little bit more too, pre, or I guess too preoccupied with what was going on in northern Mexico, uh, that the Chinook tribe would be able to just boom colonize all down the west coast here. That was not the case, and uh, they're going to get pushed back pretty far, pretty hard. I, I'm imagining that the, the, the Shoshone should be able to take at least at least this city. I think. Um, and if that's if that city falls, I mean you have practically no units defending anymore. Then you have great war infantry. Turn two twenty one. Shnook and the Anishinaabe declaration of friendship. That's nice. That's nice of them. Even though their empire is probably going to get destroyed very soon. Yep, I think the Sioux are going to are gearing up for a Cree war. Uh, now, do the Cree have their military still? Yep, they still have a pretty big military. Whoa! Look at the Anishinaabe. Right here, protecting their capital. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, the Mayan have chosen freedom. Okay. I, I think, here, I want to make a big, big prediction here. This is a very, very big prediction, and I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not. Uh, we'll see. Also, did France drop the city? Not yet, but it very, it, it very much will soon. Uh, oh, wait a second. The Mayans do have a better military than I initially thought. You know, for a while there, this, this Mayan empire, like, had no military at all. Like, their only military units were protecting the capital, and it was only, like, two or three, really not that much. Um, it really wasn't that much, really, uh, at all. But uh, now they have more of a, of, a, of, a, of, I guess, a force to defend this other Mayan empire, and I thought this would just completely fall. But it looks like they could definitely defend against the Sioux. 
I think so. There's a lot of riflemen here. So I guess it, I, I, my prediction, it doesn't matter anymore. If they didn't have any units here to protect all five of these cities, then I thought this would this was ultimately determine the winner, whether it be the Sioux uh, or the Shoshone or the Denny or who knows, someone from the south, the Zapotec. The French, even the, even the French, whoever dropped these five cities would probably end up winning the game. But um, no, I think the Mayans are prepared. I think the Mayans are still going to get declared war on at some point. But at this point, they're prepared and they won't lose their cities within one war. I don't think. I really don't think so. Uh, but anyways, Maya has chosen freedom. And that's where I kind of got on that subject. Uh, the Aztecs have publicly denounced the Zapotec. England has publicly denounced France. Ooh, Really? Okay. Also, I did see that Fran- uh, England was the first to uh, land a city in this region that nobody's been touching. It's been pretty much uncolonized, one of the most uncolonized uh, parts of this map. Canada and Mexico are now friends. Canada's just so nice. Always always just huge friendships with Canada. I don't get it. I feel like this random personality didn't do as much as I thought it would. Uh, they still seem the exact same, which I like. Honestly, I do like that because I expect a certain attitude, a certain personality, a certain like strategy when when placing the, this random personality, or I guess when playing these AI only battles. But I figured with random personalities, they'd be going after different strategies. No, that's not really the case. They're like the exact same. I feel like they're the exact same. England has chosen freedom. Okay, yeah, very much. The Sioux, I think, are going to be the only autocracy nation. And unless they start to steal away some great works, they're going to be in some, they're going to be in some major trouble. So France up to nine cities now. France is up to nine cities. I'm I'm proud of France. France has done a really good job. Um, even though I thought they could have done a better job if they decided to, to declare war on like the Cree rather than Mexico a while back. But still, I mean, I'm not going to give them too much flack for that. Um, also, the Chinook have 12... I don't know where all those barbarians came from. That was quite a long time ago, but the Chinook were generating, like, a bunch of, like, barbarian riflemen uh, two videos ago. I don't know what happened. Anyways, Elizabeth loves to smile. Uh, Mexico, doing pretty good. Canada's doing pretty good. A lot of these nations, actually, a lot of these nations are pretty low, and it's because they just have so many cities. Look at all these, look at all these nations in the negatives. How is Napoleon at negative 21 happiness? Uh, Mayans at negative 8. You know, I'm not used to this with an AI... Usually the AI gets some huge uh, happiness bonuses. That's not been the case. I can't believe, I don't think I've ever, ever seen the AI with this much negative happiness. I, I can't believe it. I don't know why I put so much delay in between all those words, but I'm just, I'm, I'm shocked. Uh, I guess it was for dramatic effect. Definitely for dramatic effect. The Zaptec have kind of, I don't know. Oh, Revolution by France. <gasps> oh my gosh, the French Revolution. Revolutionary France. Napoleon, this is your time. Uh-oh. I'd get worried now. I would be really, really worried. We have revolutionary France on our hands. Have risen up and forced their leader, Napoleon, to, to adopt freedom. That's pretty funny. Oh, man. Be careful now. Be careful, other nations. Cannot believe the Iroquois have managed to stay alive. You know, maybe I should reevaluate my statement that I was going to make about the Mayan, where I thought the Mayan were just going to completely topple over because they didn't have any units protecting this this part of their empire. They do. Uh, it's the Iroquois. The Iroquois have no military. For the amount of cities they control, they don't have a big military at all. So I'm shocked. I feel like, I don't know. I just I just don't think that. I think that whoever I think someone's going to take over a lot of these Iroquois cities, and and it could be a, it could be so many different nations. It could be it could be America, it could be Anishinaabe, uh, it could be the Sioux, even France, Spain. A lot of different nations border the Iroquois, uh, even England. I think that could make a comeback for England. Um, but for like someone like America, if they were to just declare war on the South and just roll through these cities, I mean, you're talking about like an unstoppable force at that point, taking some of these cities that all already have been placed down. Boom. Yep, that's what I thought. And the Chinook are down to four cities. The Danu actually are continuing to push forward against the capital. I thought they had stopped. Uh, the Cree have chosen autocracy. Oh, ho, ho, really? Okay, so this might avoid, this might help the Sioux and the Cree avoid a war, even though I kind of wanted to see a war go down. I think the Cree need to more worry about the Anishinaabe in the south because look at all these naval units. That's kind of incredible. I'm shocked about that. France has publicly denounced the Sioux. Oh, that's some big news. That is some big, big news. Canada's publicly denounced the Sioux. Okay, so people are starting to realize uh, that the Sioux are kind of the enemy. There's That was four big denouncements. Pretty big uh, nations denouncing the Sioux. Mexico, not that big, but still. How the Zapotec doing with their progress? No, they're not doing very well. Another revolution. What? Oh, my goodness. The Iroquois have chosen freedom now. The, I've, never se- I've never seen two revolutions before, I don't think. Have we ever seen that? I think I've seen one. 
not two, and then it was like almost back to back there. The Anishinaabe have denounced the Iroquois. They've denounced England. Oh yeah, it's gonna be crazy. But here's the thing: if everyone chooses freedom, we might see less wars. We might also see less denouncements, less less hate in this world. And I I enjoy my hate. I very much enjoy my Civ Five AI hating each other's guts. It's one of my favorite parts about the whole thing is uh, when AIs are just like you know denouncing each other every single turn. What what is Spain doing? What is Spain doing? I don't know what they're doing here. What are you doing, Spain? Moving pretty awfully close to Orleans. I don't know what you're gearing up for. Who knows? So France's war with uh, the Aztecs is pretty much over. They're probably going to peace out soon. I don't think they... I think they're going to chill for a little bit. I'm thinking Napoleon's going to chill. We'll have to wait and see for that one, though. Dang, so many people just choosing freedom. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that so many nations have, have, have risen up, and I'm guessing it's because the Denny just... Super, they've just got so many great works. Let's check the info addicts, actually. That, that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and check here. What do we got? So in terms of tourism, the Shoshone and the Denny are in the top spots. Uh, has Canada chosen yet? I think Canada's chosen, right? I'm not sure. So we're doing pretty good, too, though. And tourism is really the only thing that matters. But great works in general. Oh, the Shoshone is still dominating. But Denny's doing good. Canada's doing good. Cree's doing good. I don't know. That must have been just maybe a freak event, having two nations choose... You know, choose to have a revolution almost back to back for freedom. Maybe it was just like super, I don't know. D I've never seen that before. Wow. Uh, why do you guys have such a big military, Anishinaabe? I love it. I mean, you guys are kind of making a comeback. I, I thought you were kind of over. I thought this AI was kind of just done with. Um, they were in a tough spot and the Iroquois continued to expand. But no, they're totally not letting the Iroquois step all over them. Which is really nice to see. I, I'm shocked. They're going after somebody, though. They could be still going after the Iroquois. I don't know. Maybe they're going after uh, Akron here. It might... Actually, you know what? That might be the case. The Sioux... Oh, my goodness. Sitting Bulls declared war on the Denny. Oh, the, oh my gosh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really, really bad. If you... Oh, oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is about to get intense because the Sioux are about to pick up a whole lot of power here. A whole lot of power. And the thing is, nobody really borders. It's been captured by Mexico. Oh, wow. Mexico was able to defend against the Zapotec as well as take an Aztec city to the south. Okay, Mexico, good for you. And you defended against a pretty large military as well. Okay, what is this ideology? Um, America's chosen order, very small, there's only a few, a handful of nations that have chosen order, uh, especially while everyone's kind of converted over towards freedom. This is bad. This is really, really bad, and I'm wondering if the Shoshone are going to get mad. I know the Shoshone and the Denny are on a pretty good term, they're, they're on pretty good terms, pretty good relationship. I don't think the Shoshone are going to continue to, uh, progress their war in the north against the Chinook tribe, but we'll have to wait and see. Canada still winning here. Third Congress of... Ottawa. Chinook has denounced the Mayans. So what is going to go down here? I mean, the Denny have no military whatsoever. This could weaken. This could really significantly weaken uh, Sitting Bull's military, though. I could see that happening. I could see a huge war between... Uh, if, if the Cree and the Anishinaabe both team up, and I don't know exactly who they're going for, but they're moving a lot of their units over... Especially while the sitting, while sitting bull has most of their units out here in the west, this is a perfect opportunity for Cree and the Anishinaabe, uh, Anishinaabe to work together. I think they denounced each other, but I, I th this would be a really, really good opportunity. They do have a navy, though. I will say they, they have a navy to be able to somewhat defend. But I mean, honestly, they're not they're not going to be going for the coastal cities. They can they could take the uh, the Sioux capital. So I'm not saying that's that probably won't be enough, but that that day that would do some major damage. That would do some pretty major major damage. America still not chosen a war. Uh, he's had a pretty big military for a while now. Elizabeth has in fact built a bunch of ship of the lines. That is what she really needed to do. But now she needs to declare war soon. While the ship of the lines are still significant, she's got to utilize them. And don't go to war with Canada either. Don't go to war with Canada. If you're going to go to war with someone, go to war with America because they have no. They've got no fleets. They've got no navy. 
or try to go – I guess you could go back for Florida, but it seems kind of useless at this point. Uh, another ideology, Shoka's Chosen Freedom. This is probably one of the – I think the first AI-only battles I think I can ever – I think we've ever had where most of the world has chosen freedom. Most nations do not choose freedom. It's usually autocracy or order where, like, the majority of the world is, is, is a, you know, autocracy or order. Usually it's – there's like a pocket. There's like two or three nations total, maybe three tops that have chosen freedom. And eventually those change because they either get destroyed or, or they, you know, they go through a revolution like we saw. So this should be interesting. I'm wondering how this is going to affect gameplay. Okay, so Washington is doing something. They're trying to move through lands here. I'm guessing freedom as well. Yep, Canada's chosen freedom. Okay, so I thought Canada's chosen their ideology, but I guess not. Uh, Zapotec have kind of ceased their colonization of California. They're not going for uh, California or Baja California. Boom, the first Denny city has fallen. Uh, and it seems like the Sioux have lost a, kind of a bit of their military. Oh, this is big. This is big. Upcoming session. Ban of luxuries and then the repeal of the ban of, of Wales, which is what I voted for. France, what are you going to do now? You're the strongest of the Europeans. You can't stop. The Zabtec are now splitting up their armies. Not a very smart idea. Not a very smart idea. Whoa, but the Mayans are starting to move their own military down south. Maybe to attack France? A week in France? Another revolution. No way. No way. America is forced from... They had to remove their order ideology to go for freedom. America loves their freedom so much. Oh, look, now I can click on it. I can't click on this button, can I, though? Can't click on this button? I can go here, though. Wow. Wow. Okay, so uh, in terms of mo most, most tourism, the Shoshone and the Denny are tied with uh, influential over one nation. I'm sure that's the Aztecs. Uh, in terms of ideologies, we have two autocracy, Cree and the Sioux, as well as... Oh, so the Anishinaabe are in order. The Anishinaabe are in order, and they're going through a revolutionary wave. Lots of negative unhappiness. That's part of the reason I think we're seeing so many so many nations convert is, is like I had said, I'd never seen an AI with so much unhappiness. Usually it doesn't happen. Canada's still in dissidence, but I'm not sure why that is. I mean, they just chose freedom, so that might end up changing, I'm assuming. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked at this much freedom. But, but will the Cree and the Sioux change? Now, the Cree are going to take a, a lot of the tourism away, and I think the great works away from the Denny that they control currently. I think that that might solidify autocracy's role in this world. I seriously doubt we're going to see an entire freedom, a world full of freedom. I think it's pretty hilarious that America was forced to, uh, they had a revolution of freedom. But uh, yeah, I mean, this this world is going to be kind of insane. Let's go ahead and go one more turn here. Denouncements going on. Aztecs have denounced the Sioux. A peace deal between the Zapotec and Mexico. It's about time there. Anishinaabe and the Cree, this is your time. We'll kind of keep an eye on, too, the uh, Sitting Bull's military. I know that they're using, they're definitely losing troops. It does not seem as strong as it, as it once did. Um, and because they're in the middle here, you got to be careful. you got to be really, really careful. I, I, I don't know. But anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. I'm going to come back with some strategic resources, uh, and we'll see what that all looks like. Who has some of the uranium in this world? It's turn 238. Seems to be pretty crazy, especially because... I, I, there's just so many different nations. There's, 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 there's the Sioux, there's France, there's America, there's, there's the Iroquois who's expansive but doesn't have a very good military. There's, I don't know what the heck the Mayans are doing right now, the Zapotec. Very fun game. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.